But let's start with the National League East, where I'm wearing my Philly sweatshirt. My beloved Phillies, who it's really hard for me to say this, but like, and, and just believe that they have the longest playoff drought in the National League. Believe it or not. Real Muda is starting the year with a broken thumb. That's probably going to sap his power a little bit going into the season. The rotation and pitching in general behind Nola and Wheeler on the Phillies doesn't concern me in terms of an opponent in that division. I think their bullpen is still a complete mess. Phillies, they're, can their bullpen get anybody out? Historically bad last year. The Phillies, by the way, I'm not going to sit here and recommend them to win the division. Uh, look, bringing in Archie Bradley and – uh, Alvarado, at least they've been like major league relievers before, which it could it, anything is an upgrade over what they did last year. But the back end of that rotation uh, is inconsistent to say the less in the bullpen. I will say once that lineup is healthy, they will murder lefties. Shout out to Archie Bradley, who grew up like a mile from my house and hangs out at the batting cage my son works out at. Uh, you know, he his hard hit percentage has dropped every season since 2015. So I think it's a good addition for the Phils. And there's going to be a lot of close ball games. And, and I know this just from playing fantasy baseball. Shitty teams have saves, too, with their closers. I mean, there could be 30 to 40 saves from a team that only wins 60 games in the season. So Archie Bradley, I think out there, DK is around 20 to 25 to 1 for most saves. That's not enough for me to buy, but I am still looking for good closers on shitty teams to, to win that prop. Uh, the, you know, I think the Dave Dombrowski needs to be talked about as the new president of operations. And he's responsible for all that exposed talent that they had when I was growing up as a kid, he's responsible for the Tigers world series runs, uh, 15 years ago. And when I think about that more and more, this is not a roster he put together. This is not the payroll that he put together. Uh, I don't know what he wants to do. And he took the GM, reassigned him, and pulled somebody off of the analytics side and made them the GM of the Phillies. So in my opinion, you might see a lot of jockeying out of this Phillies team around the deadline because there, there might be a bunch of guys that Dombrowski doesn't want on this team, and there may be targets out there that he wants long-term for the future. This is not the Phillies season that, you know, internally makes me want to play an under, but statistically, like if you look at Zerillo's column and, and War Pathag, whatever, the number's correct, right? Mathematically, but it's not their season. And so why not, if you're rebuilding, sell some guys off at the trade deadline, if you're not going to win the division, because you do have three pretty good teams. 